Yeah, something brief. <laughs> It's a FIFA course for youth coaches. Uh, these coaches are from all over uh, Ghana, coming from all over Ghana for about four or five days. And uh, they co mostly coaching under 15 team. And uh, it's a refresher course. They had this uh, youth coaching course in the last year. And this is now a second course, you know, to, uh, to fresh up. Uh, we uh, work on youth topics, youth football topics and uh, starting from uh, individual and group tactics, now mostly team tactics in defense and offense. That's all. And listening to them, training them here, 
Have you seen some of the qualities these people have got and what are they imparting into the youth? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I mean, it's only four or five days. It's a short time for me to, to, to it's about more than about 30 participants. It's not easy to evaluate everybody, but uh, we work in groups. They have to do their group work and uh, then if they present their topic in the field, like now, it's about pressurizing in football. So you can see already a little bit, especially from those coaches who run the presentation. Um, so how is the future like for youth coaches in Ghana? Oh, it's hard for me to answer because I don't live here. I know a little bit about the structure because I talk to the coaches, we exchange ideas. I uh, I always say you cannot copy other countries. Uh, you have to find your own way, and I think that's what they do, what they try to do, and I'm sure they're on a good way. Um, and what is that way? The way is uh, to have uh, very good tr planning for training, to conduct an excellent training session because uh, they are young players; they have to learn. They have to learn and not to to go just for results. So it's uh, about uh, good uh, teamwork. So because it's not an individual sport, and uh, it's uh, about having a good philosophy for youth coaches, f good philosophy for the players. You know what the coach wants to see if they have the ball, if they don't have the ball. That means to have a good game plan. So how do we have this good game plan? Uh, that's why we, are, we, we sit together. We, the first lesson was about principles in attack and offense. So they uh, have to learn and want, have to know or need the knowledge, you know, to have the right idea in about maybe building up attack, how the goalie acts, starting with the goalkeeper, center backs, full backs, midfield players, strikers. You know, all these individual positions fitting into a team. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you too. Bye. About 40 of them, just as I was, yeah. was telling me, are these coaches also goalkeepers, coaches, or something like that? Yeah, all the teams were asked to come with uh, their goalkeeper's trainers and the some of them came, some of them didn't, but I have a few who are purposely in charge of their goalkeepers. And what have you seen in those who have presented their goalkeeper's trainers? What I've seen in them? What I've seen in them, whether they've got a quality to and add very good goalkeepers. Yeah, you know, it's about the interest, and they're interested in really what they are, they are doing, that's why they are goalkeeper's trainers. Okay, and look at the picture that uh, uh, Mr. Eric Price was creating about the future. Yeah. Do you think the future is bright? Oh yeah, the future is bright in the sense that uh, the coaches that we have here are at the grassroots, and uh, it will surprise you to if you see the quality of the players that these coaches have have unearthed. They have picked a lot of players during the, the league games that the under-15 had, and if you see the quality in them, you see that they are, the future is bright. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> okay.